Calls on Chris to ask if there was any rich person in here. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh my god. It was like, uh, read the room there, bud. Uh, got some good news. I got a haircut. Take that depression. You know what I'm saying? Got nothing on me. Yeah, I think the, uh, the worst part about getting a haircut is when all your friends tell you in the nicest way possible that you used to look like shit. <laughs> You're just like, a, a burn? Really, Grayson? Hey, it's coming back, dude. Uh, I was on the plane here, and uh, I was watching Shark Tank on the plane. You guys like that show? It's a pretty good one. Yeah, Shark Tank. I think they kind of fuck up with the diversity there, though. Because really what we need now more than ever is like a redneck shark tank. Wouldn't that be amazing? Just four hillbillies with like $72 between them investing in products that already existed. Like dentures? Fuck! The voice recorder that just like filters out all the racial slurs. <laughs> apps for dating they're like you've seen okay cupid here's okay cousins you know? <laughs> like you've heard of toilet paper what about bidets that french fucking thing bidets are, uh, bidets are actually getting super popular right now i don't know if you guys have seen that the little french thing squirts water in your asshole let's say i don't yeah chris is like dude i yes i have three <laughs> and one toilet uh, it's a jacuzzi. Uh, now, bidets are getting popular, and I don't know if I'm like for bidets or against bidets. I think they're just gonna cause like a ton of confusion. Like divorce rates are gonna have to skyrocket after that, right? Like you're gonna get a guy that's been married for 27 years, and he's gonna get a bidet and be like, honey, I got some news. <laughs> Todd's moving in. Get your ass on the couch. You know, like all those people in 2012 that were like, gay marriage is a sin. They're going to get up a day and be like, shit, love is love after all. <laughs> Fuck. I needed this. 2022. Got out of a pandemic. We all made it. Some of us didn't, but most of us did. Everyone in here did. Uh, and I've been trying to, I've been trying to grow a lot in 2022, uh, and I saw some stupid ass Tumblr quote that just said like, the best way to make changes in your life and grow in your life is to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Okay, I think I need a little more detail than that, because like I have laughed at so many funerals. I have <laughs> farted in the elevator with one other person and been like, dude. Uh, like the last two weeks, I've just been getting on Tinder and catfishing family members. <laughs> That's uncomfortable, right? Like one of my family members was like, you were sending those dick pics? And I was like, Grandma, you were screenshotting them, so get your ass back to eHarmony. Like, Old bitch. No, I'm just kidding. She's almost dead. <sighs> um, I have had a, a sad few weeks, uh, though. Um, I've been, you know, working on a lot of things, and uh, I accidentally did relapse. Uh, I shot heroin in the backyard, and I know what you're thinking, Grayson. Why would you name a dog heroin? <laughs> but at the time, there was a Lord album, and it was amazing. So don't get on me for that shit. But yeah, good news and bad news. Um, I found one fun fact. Uh, I found out that there's a lot of cultures out there. And it's actually perfectly not, not, I didn't find out that I was like, holy shit, there's more white people. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, that would never happen. Um, but I found out that in a lot of cultures, it's actually perfectly acceptable to live with your parents until marriage. A lot of Asian cultures, a lot of Hispanic cultures do this. And that was good news for me, because I've always been told I'm a fucking loser for living with my mom in my late 20s. Turns out I'm not a loser at all. 
I'm just depressed. <laughs> I'm extremely cultured, you know? I'm like Anthony Bourdain, I just can't afford the rope yet. Oh my God. You guys don't keep laughing, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> now, I'll, I'll leave you guys with this. Um, fun fact about Trader Joe's, if anyone goes there, overpriced pecans and whatnot. Uh, Trader Joe's, in Trader Joe's, every cashier has to ask each customer a question when they're checking out. I don't know if you've been in the service industry, but that is a fucking nightmare, okay? And you can always kind of tell how long they've been working by the kind of questions they ask. Like I was in the Trader Joe's, I was getting one thing, one thing only. I was getting pizza dough. Pizza dough, that's it. That's, that's all there was to it. So I was like checking out, he was like, hey, how you doing? And here comes the question. I was just like wondering what it might be. And he like just scans the pizza dough and like looks at it and he was like, have you ever had pizza? <laughs> I was like, sir, I am 29 and American and have high blood pressure. Yes, sir, I've been around <laughs> a few times. Like I gotta give him credit because I would have done way worse. Like three hours into my shift, the first person that buys wine, I'd be like, is everything okay at home right now for you, buddy? Do you need a hug? Somebody has a face tattoo, and I'm like, your dad didn't hit you enough, did he? <laughs> Somebody just like gets a loaf of bread. I'm like, you think God's gay? <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, thank you so much. It's so good to be back at Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>